The next crypto bull market is going to have a major impact on crypto gaming. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the top gaming coins in the market right now, as well as we're going to dive deeper into Gala Games and Miria. But before we do that, let's take a look at just what kind of market size are we expected for gaming as a whole and mostly focused on crypto gaming. Now, some of these projects and some of these crypto gaming projects are focusing not only on a desktop version of their games, but also on mobile games. And I do believe that mobile gaming in the years to come is only going to get bigger and bigger. Now, if we take a look at this chart here, we are talking about mobile gaming market size. We're not necessarily only talking about crypto mobile games, but I wanted to point this out because everyone in the world literally has a phone. And if you have a phone, well, you've probably already played a game. And if you are one of those gamers, you've probably already spent money on an in-game item on your phone. So here we take a look at this from 2023 all the way to 2032. We can see a growth of about $550 billion. And it's absolutely crazy because year over year, this is projected to grow about 15% on an annual basis on a compounded annual growth rate, which means that we can see the mobile gaming space is only going to continue to grow. Now, the reason I bring this up is because some of these crypto gaming projects are not only focusing on desktop games, but they are also focusing on the mobile aspect of games. And as we can see, this is projected to continue going up. Now, similarly, if we take a look at blockchain gaming specifically, according to this paper, the valuation of blockchain gaming in 2022 was about 4.6 billion. Now, if we fast forward that to 2027, this is projected to be around $66 billion in 2027. So this would mean that it would be a compounded annual growth rate over the next four years of about 70.3%. Now, what this means is that when you are doing your research on crypto gaming projects, if you're finding a project that is only catering to desktop users, well, you may not see the same growth as another project, which would be catering to desktop users as well as mobile users. So just be aware of that because there is a very big space for mobile gamers and it's definitely bigger than your desktop users. Now, another caveat I just want to throw Row in there is that if your project specifically only caters to crypto gamers, well, it may not be as successful as a project who really tries to make games fun and crypto as a secondary aspect to their gaming mechanisms. So if we take a look at some of the top gaming coins by market cap, we can see that number one would be Render. Now I did make a few videos on Render. The reason it is categorized as a gaming play in my opinion is because of their mission, of their product, they are decentralizing GPU usage. Of course, if you're gaming, you're gonna need a GPU, so you may are using Render in that case if you don't have the GPU you need. But again, it render itself is not an actual gaming project, but it can definitely be used for gaming, for AI, and so on and so forth. Now, continuing on with this list, we have Immutable X, we have Axie Infinity, which we saw blow up in the last bull market, Sandbox, Decentraland, then we have Gala at around $450 million of market cap. We are gonna dive deeper into this one. Then we have Alluvium at about $180 million of worth of market cap. We have Vulcan Forge at about $115 million market cap. Then if we continue scrolling down here, we have Naka, which is sitting around $65 million worth of market cap. And if we scroll all the way down, the other project I wanna highlight, which I've highlighted quite a bit on the channel, is Miria sitting right around a $20 million market cap. Now, if we take a look at Gala Games specifically, right now it's sitting at 1.8 cents. Is this a good time to buy? Well, let's dive deeper into it. 
So I do think we found a bottom right around 1.2 cents about a few weeks ago because there was a lot of pressure on Gala. They have internal lawsuits going on. So there is a lot of negative things happening for Gala internally. But with the recent Bitcoin pump, we have seen Gala games go up about 30% in the last week or so. So I do believe people are quickly able to forget what's happening internally and focus more on what Gala is building. Now, they did also launch a new game. So they have this legacy game that launched on the 26th of October, I believe. So it's been out for a few days and this is a brand new game. It's not developed by Gala itself, but again, it is on the Gala Games Play Store. Now, taking a look at just how many people hold Gala, we are looking at about 208,000 people. So this is definitely one of the bigger ecosystems, bigger gaming ecosystems in Web3. And what I do like about Gala Games too is that they are trying to cater not only to crypto investors, but rather to gamers themselves and have crypto as a secondary aspect to their ecosystem. There is no MetaMask link whatsoever on their front page. People can obviously see that it is a Web3 crypto gaming page, but there is more to it and it is easier for non-crypto gamers to come into Gala versus other projects. Now, something else we have to keep in mind with these crypto gaming projects are the tokenomics. And in this case, Gala Games is still inflationary. If we zoom in here, we have about 50% of the supply that is in circulating supply, which means there are still tokens left to come into circulation. Now, as more tokens come into circulation, well, as you've guessed it, it does put a bit of selling pressure on the ecosystem system but we are definitely beaten down here in terms of gala games we can see that the chart back in 2021 it hit about 75 cents and right now we're around 1.8 cents now again if we take a look at gala games this ecosystem they are catering to mobile games they do have mobile games we can see ios android here and on top of that earlier this year gala did buy a mobile gaming studio with over 20 million users and this studio was ember entertainment and this is what we have in terms of games for this mobile studio so again gala is positioning itself not only for the desktop users but also for the mobile users and lastly another reason i am bullish on gala is because they are working on their own chain they are working on this gala chain i'm not going to share this document with you because this is confidential it's shared in their discord if you have a gala gold membership but it is looking promising if you are going to be able to use Gala as the gas token. Well, you can imagine that the quantity of Gala is going to get burned a lot faster. Now, if we switch gears and we talk about Miria, right now it's sitting at three tenths of a penny. This is a tiny crypto gaming project right now. But the reason I bring it up again is because it is similar to Gala Games. And again, we just looked at Gala Games, $450 million worth of market cap. And if we take a look at Coin Market Cap's valuation for Miria, we are looking at about $20.4 million. So again, a much, much smaller project. Now, if we take a look at an all-time chart for Miria, the token launched in April around one cent and it only went down since then. But over the last few weeks, we have seen some sort of momentum for Miria. We are looking right around 0.003 or three tenths of a penny. And if we take a look at its monthly growth, we are up about 97%. So had you invested about a month ago, you'd probably be up around 100% if you've sold. Of course, that is all dependent on whether or not you're realizing your gains or not. But here, Miria, if we take a look at its ecosystem, this is one very similar to Gala, as I've mentioned. They do are developing their own games, and they're also allowing publishers or developers to publish their games on their ecosystem. So right now there aren't any games playable. So this is again a very new ecosystem, 
But the reason I bring it up is because their Meta Rush game is supposed to become live before the end of the year. So there's about two months left in the year. This is supposed to be launched before then. And if it is, and if people are able to use their Myria tokens in game, well, I do see the value of Myria going up. Because right now, the price of Myria has only gone down. There wasn't much incentive to hold Myria unless you were bullish on its future. We kind of see that Bitcoin went up, everything went up, and Myria also did do quite well over the last weeks. Now, something I do like to keep track of are the Myria holders. And over the last week, I do believe this has gone up by about 400 people. So again, taking a look at just how many people hold Myria, we're only looking at 5,400 people. So again, it is relatively new. Whether or not it succeeds, time will tell. But if we take a look at the tokenomics, we have to consider this because there is going to be a whole lot of inflation for Myria. So here I've done the calculations for you. I've looked at their vesting and distribution schedule and here is what we have. If I just turn this into a three because we are now closer to 0 0.003 and we are sitting in the month of October. This would be at the end of October. So we are looking at about 6.8 billion tokens in circulation. And if we take a look at the end of the first year, we're going to be around 13 billion. Then year two, we're going to be about 25 billion. So as you can see, there is going to be more and more tokens in circulation which ultimately means that even if the price of Myria doesn't go up, the market cap goes up and this may cause some selling pressure to the price of Myria. So you have to be aware that there are going to be more tokens in circulation. But again, I do believe that Myria is still very interesting in the sense that whether or not they're able to attract new gamers, whether or not they're able to build their ecosystem. I do think this $20 million market cap is tiny for a crypto gaming project, but it all depends on if they're able to execute on their roadmap. Because I definitely do see Myria competing against Gala Games if the team is able to achieve what they want to achieve. And we also have a cater towards mobile games here, which is definitely a plus in my opinion. And it's just a matter of whether or not these games are going to come out in time and how this ecosystem works out as it is a layer two solution on Ethereum. And it is also a gasless ecosystem. So with that being said, those are the two projects I wanted to highlight again today with the recent pump in the crypto space. We saw that these projects did do quite well. We had about 33% on Gala, about 100% on Myria. So I do think there's a lot of potential there. Definitely do your own research as none of this is financial advice. We do also have great other gaming projects that I didn't mention in this video. So let me know which project you like down below. And with that being said, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.